space sucking, back in this, pucker up, watching some submarine races, can we just go already? Hi there! Welcome back to some more Super Lesbian Animal RPG, where we left off. Ah, uh, so, at the begin- so at the beginning of this, I- my nose started bleeding. Um, I had to uh, the, turn the fan off because I, you wouldn't- you would be able to hear it. The dogs are barking, my neighbor's dogs, so you'll probably hear them during this whole ordeal, and I can't do anything about it. And I had to record this because I'm going to try my best to record every single day, upload every single day, and uh, yeah. So yeah, it's like really hot outside. Really hot in my apartment. I had to turn off the fan for you guys so that way you wouldn't have to deal with the blaring noise of Oh, it's annoying and I'm so I'm sweating here for you. Please love me. I'm suffering here. Ah, we're getting back into town. And my whole ordeal of uh, complaining is over, I think. Oh, I might complain more. Hey, you two over here. What's up, uh, Beverly? You two seem like you go for a slice of cake. What makes you say that? I'm just a very perceptive, Melody. I can tell these things. Also, I kind of have half a leftover chocolate cake in the fridge and would rather share it with my friends. Then throw it out tomorrow. What do you think, Mel? Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's treat ourselves. Great. Let's head inside. Awesome! We get to go inside of... He I sign Piggly, I think, right? Here you are. Two slices of chocolate cake for the lovely couple. Enjoy. You sure you don't want us to pay for this? Oh, no, it's on the house. I'll probably owe... Uh, I probably owed one of you a favor anyways. Thank you, Beverly. I'll leave it to you alone then. Howler, if you need... If you need howl, if you need me. Ooh, we healed up. I think. Uh, that's what it sounded like, right? You know, if we uh, were a real couple, we'd be sitting here drinking one milkshake with two straws. Do you want to ask for a milkshake? You could uh, just have a milkshake if you wanted one. Oh, no, no. That would be way too much sugar even for me. So, what have you been up to lately? It's been a while since, you know, we talked. I've mostly been studying all the material I had, uh, heal it. And healing magic that Claire gave me. Lots of little mana management exercises, deep breathing, focusing your thoughts on a spell. That sort of stuff. I would love to do that. Sounds like a lot of work, but I would do it for magic. Nice. But you could have done some of that studying on me, you know. I know. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I just... I don't know. No, come on. Talk to me, Mel. I guess I just felt like... People would think I wasn't taking it seriously if I didn't at least get a simple healing or a spell or two down before showing my face again. I want everyone to see that I really am trying my hardest. I mean, I admire your commitment and and I'm really impressed by your by that your healing uh, spell used on me. I kind of felt like the f uh, fresh tingling sensation you get after raising your mouth, rinsing with mouthwash, except everywhere. Wait. Do you know everyone's got your back, right? You don't have to prove anything to anyone. I don't know. It's complicated. Explain your feelings further. Change it. Uh, explain your feelings. Tell your girlfriend everything. Everyone's so en uh, encouraging, but are they just saying that because they're my friends? Like, they don't know I'll succeed? They can't see the future, and I've never done anything like this before. They're just trying to be supportive. In front of me, things that old support means I have a lot to live up to now. And then I'll let, uh, let everyone down if this doesn't work out. But it's not like I want everyone to tell me that uh, they think I'll fail, you know? So it's complicated. Melody. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just overthinking things. Or ignore me. Ignore me. What about you? Have you gotten much training done? And not really. Claire says at uh, a certain point I'll only get better at fighting monsters by, you know, fighting monsters. I haven't had a chance to go out on expedition or anything and a whole hound or two, uh, or, or two aside, there ain't a lot of monsters to fight around town. 
It's too bad that Faith and the Paladin Brigade aren't uh, so good at the job, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably tell you the big news. Brace yourself for this one. I'm bracing. Let's our brace ourselves. I quit my job! Yep, no more working my butt off chopping down trees for minimum wage. Put in my two week notice, uh, two weeks ago now, actually. Which means I can focus on adventuring full time. Are you sure about that? Nice. Now let's encourage her. Let's encourage our girlfriend. Nice! I see you really got a good feeling about the skill thing, huh? I really do. I mean, why shouldn't I? I know uh, it's a risk, uh, but if it works, if this works out, I'll be making way more money than my old job. And if it's hard work, I'll be doing something fun with my friends and with the love of my life. Aww, so cute. Oh, uh, speaking of the guild, have you seen Claire today? Jody sa uh, said she's been working on some kind of project. Yeah, I have no idea what's up with that. Claire never tells me anything. You know how she can be. I thought you said no guild business today, though. Well, I'd at least like to tell her about the progress I made. Fair enough. Hey, Beverly, uh, what about you? Any idea where Claire's been up to? I don't know. All that magic stuff Claire gets up to is way over my head. But I'm sure it's something cool knowing her. I'm not sure if knowing it involves magic makes me more or less concerned. I'd try asking Jody if I were you. Oh well, thanks for the cake, Beverly. It was nice. It, it was great as always. You're welcome. Where uh, where are you two heading off now? I'm not sure. We haven't really thought that uh, far ahead. Why do you ask? Well, Claire said something about me getting special magic healing powers from the power of love or something like that. Is that true? More or less. Wow. Uh, what do they think of next? Anyway, Claire's asked me to keep an eye on you two and make sure everything's hunky-dory with your relationship and make sure your magic is working. That's a little weird. Everything's cool, though. We don't have anything to worry about. I thought so. But hey, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'll be around. Maybe we should go ask Jody uh, what Claire's up to just to have some peace of mind. Alright, let's head out. Jody, where's Claire? Well, what? Uh, that's what's that? Well, that's really. What is? You two are spending time together. I've been pretty worried about Allison lately. What are you talking about, Jody? I am perfectly fine. If I perfectly fine, you mean starved for attention because your girlfriend is ignoring you? Then sure. Oh, <laughs> you see that? I've been always looking for attention. Allison, if you miss me so much, why didn't you just come over to my place? You know, that's a good question. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. If you two lovers don't need me anymore, I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing. You were doing nothing, Jody. I you seen Claire? How come you're not with Faith? Um. I you seen Claire? Oh, actually, have you seen Claire lately? No, she says she's been busy with some sort of top secret, very important guild project. One that she didn't want my help with. Are you a little concerned about uh, what Claire's up to? Oh, absolutely. But I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Jody, sometimes I worry that you let Claire get away with too little too much. What do you mean? How about the time she actually cast a spell that swapped your arms with your legs? Hey, magic tricky. She fixed it and learned from her mistakes, and that's all that matters. What about the time uh, Province was trying to get a speech, but her mic wasn't working? Oh yeah, didn't she try to cast a volume increasing spell in Province? But it was way too loud and it went wear off for 48 hours. Yeah, I promise try to keep quiet, but of course Holly and Rekid kept trying to get a ri uh, rise out of her because they thought it was hilarious. Actually, that was pretty fun, funny in hindsight. Listen, I'm Claire's roommate, not her mother. She's also an adult. It's not my job to discipline her or anything. I mean, come on, we all make mistakes. Once I'm trying to practice this force shield spell with Faith, except I actually made it way too big and it smashed right through the wall in her office. Wow, I didn't even know about that. I'm gonna have to remember that one for the next time uh, you rag me on for breaking stuff. Yeah, great. Look, all I'm trying to say is Claire needs some uh, someone to be supportive of her and her ambitions. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I saw Claire looking for something in your basement, Allison. What? Oh wait, no, Allison's basement, not mine. Not, uh, yeah, Melody's. She's been down there for quite a while. We should probably go check on that. Uh, how come you're not with Faith? How come you're not hanging out with Faith? It's rare to see her, uh, see her get this much free time. 
She wanted to do a little painting, so I figured I'd let her have some space. I mean, it's not like we have to hang out all the time. I understand she's a busy person. I just appreciate the time I managed to spend with her. And the rest of the time, I let her uh, live out her own life. Oh, Jody, that's smart. Emotionally mature. No, it's proof that Mel and I are Green Ridge true power couple. Up top, Mel. <laughs> oh, let's just leave. See you later, Jody. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I think this is her house, right? Allison's house. I don't even remember there being a basement here. It is Allison's basement, right? Max, Allison, why don't you take this along with us? This would make a really good weapon. Nah, -uh. that axe is only for chopping down trees and removing particularly tight bottle caps. Good to know. Uh, what are you looking for my wardrobe, babe? I was just wondering how many tops you ripped the sleeves off of. It's a lot. It's all part of my ongoing campaign to raise public awareness of these guns. Is this is a poster for a show you actually went to, Allison? Yeah, it was one of those uh, grindcore bands I was really into back in high school. Which one in particular? Oh, I have no idea. The logo is completely el 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 eligible. Maybe I should have put up a ska poster sign. Ska bands are really consistent with their graphic design and all those checkerboard prints and whatnot. Hey, weren't you in a band at one point? I mean, who wasn't in a band for like two days in 11th grade? I don't think I was. Way too much stage fright. And I am to you for that. You have a basement, right? That's... See, there's still a lot of stuff that hasn't been unpacked in here. I mean, there isn't exactly much room for me to put stuff in here. True. Maybe someday I'll actually be able to afford to move some, uh, somewhere that has room for my stuff. Seems like a good goal to keep in mind with this adventure thing, huh? Oh god, yeah. Let's hope we stumble upon a giant hoard of treasure science so we can rent a bigger place together. Renting? What about actually buying a house? I try to keep it in the real of a possibility, Mel. <laughs> I, I, it, you have a ba oh, I did not see this. Claire, hi. Oh, wow, I love this. Like, look at the spacey floor. I don't think this is how the floor is supposed to look, is it? What's in here? Oh. Cool. Is there anything? I don't remember what's in these boxes. Let's see if there's something cool in here. Also, don't you know what's in your own basement? You gotta have some mysterious mysteries in your life, Mel. Let's keep things interesting. You got potions? Okay, last one. Uh, we gotta get- oh, no, this is a save, not a box. Let's save. Yes, please, thank you. Claire! Right? Claire? Claire! Claire, what- Why are you- uh, Why are my basement walls covered in trash? I can assure you it's not trash. I like the lights. They're festive. How long have you been in my basement? What are you doing down here? Listen, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. And I can assure you those questions if you have some free time and think uh, you're ready for some something special. We're ready. Let's 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 do this. Come on, let's do this. I guess we're ready. What are we ready for exactly? Wonderful. All you need to know is that our basement is uh, your basement is now the entrance to a dungeon. A dungeon. What? Oh dear. See, as your new guild master, I d it's my responsibility to give the two of you a proper education when it comes to adventuring. Oh, <laughs> so much talking. I need to take a breather here and then, now and then. Our previous attempts have been interesting, but it's not as obvious. We need to start smaller. I need a control. I need a controlled subterranean environment to really replicate, replicate, replicate that authenticness dungeon experience in a more accessible manner. And in case you haven't noticed, this is the only house in the neighborhood with a basement. Lucky you. So now your house has this cool underground labyrinth that gets to explore together as a team! It'll be so much fun. Claire, just because you're my new boss or whatever doesn't mean you get to burst into my basement and do some radical remodeling. Okay, first of all... First of all, you hardly use this basement, let's be real. This place is rental! How am I supposed to explain this to my landlord? I'm sure they'll see uh, this adds a lot of value to their property. 
Look at all this extra square footage. And where the hell did you put my stuff, huh? It's, uh, it's around here somewhere. I may have put in a, a hammer space storage or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what you to say. How about, well, thanks, Clay. You sure did have put a lot of effort in uh, ha uh, handing our first adventure on a silver platter. Okay, this is a lot, but let's all just stop and take a deep breath, okay? No yelling? Molly, what about you? Isn't this part for you? You get to do your training right from the comfort of your own girlfriend's home. Well, underneath it. And I'm practicing these, uh, the spells I gave you, right? Don't you want a chance to show them off? Yeah, let's, come on, let's show them off! Come on, it'll be fun. I guess this is worth a shot, right? It sounds more like Claire's idea, but yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. I w we gotta fight. We gotta use those spells you learned, girl. I guess this is uh, worth a shot, right? Wow, it was a lot easier to sell you on this than I thought. I mean, if we're an adventurer now, if, if we're if we're adventurers now, then we gotta start somewhere. That's the spirit. Plus, I mean, either way, I am going to need someone to help me clear out this evil monster I summon here with the dark magics. Wait, monsters? Real monsters? Well, realish. They're more like dark magic constructs, I guess. They'll still put up a fight, though. Hmm. I do like fighting. Okay, fine. I'm still not crazy about this basement dungeon idea, but I've been dying to see some action. Just make sure you put everything back to normal later. I don't need rowdy basement monsters trying to eat my face in the middle of the night or whatever. I'll put it on my to-do list. <laughs> anyway, so I was waiting for Jody to show up before starting, but you know what? I think we can handle this on our own. I'll just be three pals on a fun-filled dungeon adventure. Are you really sure that's a good idea? Come on, what's the worst that can happen? Claire's dooms the universe. Actually, we could postpone. We were kind of on a date or whatever. More or less. I mean, unless you're okay with being a third wheel. I don't really care. Claire joined the party as the third wheel. <laughs> Okay, but fair warning, I could start macking on that girl anytime. No, really, you don't say. She's probably driven by impulse, Claire. Whatever floats your love boat. Some real hack. <laughs> Some real hardcore uh, tossing hockey if you catch my trip. Okay, that might be an uh, ex. ex uh, goddamn. Exaggeration. Listen, you two are making it weird now, so just you know, uh, just so you know, can we go swap and spit? I get it, Allison! Allison, no. Planting a big snack or not, you two, Melody. Smoochin', this is your revenge for me trashing your basement, isn't it? Face sucking, lacking lips, pucker up, watching some submarine races. Can we just go already? I love this game. It has, like, such great humor. I love it. I, I, I'm gonna, when the full game comes out, I am totally playing it. I'll even buy it if it's for sale. I don't care. I want to play it. Uh, if you guys feel like this is too rough, there's always plan B. Just open up the inventory and use plan B in your uh, key items have to enable easy mode. And are all these your boxes? Can I, I can't search them all, can I? Damn. Dust bunnies up here! Oh, that's so cute! Okay, skills. I'm gonna kiss Allison. Uh, skills. We can't use that. I can kiss Melody. Uh, should I raise all her stats? Because she doesn't exactly attack. I don't know if that will affect. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Okay, what about you? Scorch. A basic player attack target targets one enemy can also leave enemies with a nasty burn. So let's do it. Uh, Alright, kisses. Yep. Alright, let's do this. Okay, come on. There we go. Infact- Oh, infatuated. I wonder what that does. Ooh, that did some good damage. Oh, no, no, no. Leave Melody alone. Okay, uh, let's see now. Skills. Uh, no, no, not first aid. So let's just attack then. Skills. Uh, Uh, let's go lower kick and skills. Let's let's scorch you. Ooh, oh, what? Claire, why 
did you think it was a good idea to lay down fire? Huh, kinda looks like it's the Molly side is coming out. Uh, well, you learn something new every day. Oh boy. Oh, it was unburned! It was burned! That's why it's set on fire. Okay, because I, I didn't tell Claire and hit it, so I don't know. Okay, skills. Uh, no. Just, let's just attack. Uh, attack. And skills? Let's scorch the dust bunny bee. And burn! Now it's KO'd. Heck yeah. Hey, you did great back there, Belle. Hey, uh, we can't have too many. Ooh, 20 gold. Thank you. Ooh, I really love this. What is this? Oh! Well, then. Hmm. Let's go up. Wow, where did you think outside the box, Melody? Or rather, outside the dungeon. Oh, sorry, are we not supposed to go back here? You're not, but trespassing is half the fun of entering, so I'll allow this. Oh. I wonder if we should go on the end. Uh, no, let's, let's, advent let's adventure here first. Ooh. <gasps> box! Treasure chest! Defeat! This is, is this another death bunny? Ooh, flaming dust bunnies appear. Dust bunny sage appears. Oh. All right, so we don't we don't keep our star points. That sucks, but um, let me kiss. And then I think I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna attack the sage. I feel like I feel like the sage is probably um. The strongest one, and it might call more uh, dust bunnies. I don't know. I truly have no idea, but I'm just gonna guess in most RPG games that's how it is. Ooh, boy, I should probably, I should probably heal. Oh no! Skills, first aid. Okay. Uh, skills. Let's do a. Is there really any like difference? I have tr truly have no idea. Well, uh, right jab and skills. Scorch. And use first aid. Heck yeah! Is it? No, it's not down. Is it burnt? It is burnt! <gasps> there we go! Now it's just a normal flaming dust bunny! <gasps> oh dear! Oh dear, what have I done to Claire? Can I. Can I. I. Can I heal her back up? I have no idea. Oh dear, this is not good. She is my strongest. What? Oh no, I can't. Oh no, I can't heal Claire. That's not good. Where are my items? Oh dear. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I had to do. Skills, first aid, melody. And what are my items? Uh. Shield of the Bible. Well, I have a KO friend. Should I do that? I don't know. I feel like I might have to. Okay, we gotta heal up Melody. Okay, we got one down. We should be able to do the two others by ourselves. So I. I. Okay. We can do. I don't know. Lower kick. Okay, we're gonna have the healer again. We don't really- if Melody doesn't have any star things, does she? Also builds Melody- yes, it me, builds Melody star power. No, no, no. Uh, skills. No, we gotta do this! We gotta do this, man! We can do this! Okay, one more dust bunny down and we just gotta get the last one and then we win. That's if we don't die. Is, is it dead? No, we missed. Oh, we're so- Yeah, we did it! Yes! I'm just glad that's over. Uh, this should make the things a little easier. Ooh, new skill, a paladin's gift. A level two, max HP went up, maximum- Okay, I'm not gonna read through all that. Just know that everything went out. Dive bomb! How long until I'm strong enough to lift Melody over my head? Oh, hey, treasure! 
And we got found basic hold. What is that? Uh, items. Armor. Uh, simply an effective piece of army for beginning adventures. Ooh, maybe I want to. Hmm. No, 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 no. Uh, quit. What is Claire's stats? Defense 14. Defense 22. Defense 7. I'm gonna give it to Claire. I, oops, that's, that's. Claire, I think you need this more than me. There we go. Stats? Okay. Oh, her health is back up to 1. So they don't fully die, they get their health back by one at least, so that way you're able to heal them. Okay, cool. Alright. How do I get out of here again? Alright, I'm gonna go back and save. I just realized, I like how they're kinda off a line. It's kind of like, hey, yeah, real life, you wouldn't be walking exactly behind your friend. You'd be like just off a bit, but yeah, I like that. Okay, let's let's save, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stop because well, um, I'm currently dying in this heat, and I've already been playing for a little bit way too long. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It really helps, and that way you'll see more of this content later on in the future. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And bye guys!